All right, today I'm taking a look at the Keen A52 sluice box. Got it set up here on the creek. Running quite a bit of water down it. It's supposed to have a little V down the center. Got a little bit more water than I need, but I'm not really trying to get the really fine stuff because I know this area has some nice little clinkers and pickers, so I've just been digging out the sides of the, the creek here, in the bedrock. Trying to get in there. I'm going to dig out that little hole there a little bit. And I've just been working it and seeing what we can get at. This area is the area we've been sniping in. And you see the bedrock there and where I have sniped previously. I know there's a lot of gold in that material there, so I'm going to get down there and scoop up my, my overburden that I scooped out of the way too. It's a lot of fine stuff, but it's not so fine that that quick water will wash it away, hopefully. And you see a lot more overburden over there. There's a lot of bedrock under this whole area. And the overburden is only about, oh, 10 inches deep. Not so bad. So we'll uh, take a quick look at this. I need to get my water, my daughter out of the water here real quick. She's down here playing in the water in her sneakers. There you go. Uh-oh. Yeah, she's fine. My oldest daughter. <laughs> she's not very enthusiastic. But she always wants her share of the gold, which is just fine by me. So here's some stuff I've already scooped already. I'm not classifying because I got spoiled by the bazooka gold sluice. This water is so fast it just kind of brushes it right off the side anyways. Hopefully we find some larger stuff. You see that large rock just gets washed right on out. A lot of people have had really great success with the Keen A52 and just like many of other Keen's products. And any fine gold, normally with less water flow, would show up right here. But we've got so much water flowing through. That fine stuff's not going to show up right there. Got a little bit more angle than, than a lot of people use too. But again, I'm just trying to find a little bit thicker stuff, chunkier stuff. Let me see how that goes. All right, it's nighttime. As you can see, it's pitch black. But here's what we got in the sluice. Lots of good debris here, overburden. And actually we have a few that decided they wanted to stick in here. You know the water was going so fast. So I think we're gonna have an okay cleanup. I see a lot hanging down in, in these this area here. You can't quite see, it's real fine stuff. Uh, unfortunately, it's a little too dark to pan out here. So I'm gonna take this stuff home and pan it out. And I'll show you guys here what I turned out. This is what we got out of the sluice after I panned down all the cons. Not too terribly bad for a single bucket full. We just clean out the crevices and put it in through the, the sluice. Uh, my wife had also cleaned out one of the crevices that she was working. She was actually brave enough to get in that cold water and do a little sniping. She found quite a bit more than this tonight, but then again, we've always done very well sniping in this area. I don't think this is too terribly bad at all for a single bucket of a material fed through. Not to mention I wasn't classifying whatsoever. Uh, so we had rocks as big as, you know, small chicken eggs going through the sluice and they managed to get through just fine. Um, I had to clean them out every once in a while and, and uh, that's about it. It didn't jam up too bad. It stayed flowing pretty well. Um, this is my first time using the the Keen A52 sluice and I liked it quite a bit. It's uh, definitely a quicker cleanup than the bazooka. The bazooka has a lot more cons at the end to clean up and uh, if you have something like a a gold panning wheel, you know, something like a Desert Fox and things would go by pretty quick. 
uh, but if you're doing it all by hand, it, it takes quite a while. Uh, cleaning up with the keen was pretty quick. There's there wasn't a whole heck of a lot of a lot of cons, uh, just enough to fill my small eight inch pan here. Um, but yeah, so that's that's what I got today. And you know, had I wa run twenty buckets and spent the entire day there, you can imagine what we'd be seeing in the pan. But this is just from one bucket, so I think that's pretty good.